Yeah, uh, been really squads, you know, didn't go too well, but here in singles, been really focused up. And I mean, it's hard to have that many that many characters, right? When you have to focus on cracking the code on a character as, you know, as talented or like as, as kind of weird as Incineroar, right? This character's so slow. People are like, are they a mid tier? Are they a high tier? Are they a low tier? Who knows? But Sky Jade just wants to make it all work. Yeah, and uh, getting into it here, just a lot of footsies, you know, not a lot of art spamming like we saw the first time we saw uh, Jared on the stream earlier, just being really picky about when he uses it this time. Yeah, and I like these the jump. I like the reliance on these movement arts from Jared. As we mentioned earlier, Incineroar is the slowest character in the game by a decent margin, right? It, it's very hard for him to chase you down normally at Shulk, let alone when you have that speed or that jump art, you can dance all around. Incineroar, though, has the capability, and we're seeing Sky Day throughout these alone ones in what we like to call, right, low-risk, high-reward, or low-risk, medium-reward situations, where he, you know, isn't gonna get hit. Worst case, it's just like a reset to neutral, and the upside is he kills him at 50. So, oh, shield art not gonna be enough to get back there. Went to shield art a little early. It was beautiful, but... You know, Sky J ready for the tech meant that he couldn't just immediately press an up special, as well as being in shield and having to press up special when he did, it goes a shorter distance. So he just kind of, unfortunately, shot himself in the foot and lost that first stop. Honestly, of all the players in this top eight, the hardest character matchup for Incineroar is Hulk. Yeah, for sure. Just get, oh, Smash Art gonna be the death of Jared there. I mean, normally Smash Art's supposed to help you kill Sinner, dude. It, 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 it's a two-way street. <laughs> it, yeah, absolutely. But right now, I mean, speaking of two-way streets, right, it answers on back, said, okay, I might have had the anime betrayal, but guess what? I'm still your best friend finding the stock. It's gonna be Sky J racking on a lot of extra damage, catching the empty hop once again with this Alolan weapon. That's what we were talking about by those... When Alpha was really down here, yeah. just intimidated off the ledge. Bro, you, I mean... Again, when you're playing a matchup like this, you want to shake their mental. Well, you wanna... and, and that might have been a mental preservation strategy from Jared. Said, ah, this game's kind of a wash. Let's go to game two. But also, like, how? What's his when he's that low? Even if he switches the jump part, he already he didn't have a jump, double jump there, so he was really hard pressed to find a way back. And even if you do, ooh, the angle you have to approach is so linear that Incineroar gets to well line up down here, line up down tilt forward air, down tilt back air, and so Jared just kind of reset, went to the next game. Sky J tried to put the exclamation on it. No cigar. And now I'd expect to see a different stage. Maybe we won't though. Maybe Jared is gonna run it back. And I but maybe not. I was gonna say, I don't expect, I, I expect to see a, a stage that allows him more flexibility with his movement. Cause even though Hall of Bastion is like FD sized, it's, it's, it's a bit large. Arge, that center and platform does so much to restrict how you can move and in a way that's really beneficial for a character like Incineroar. Whereas Battlefield, like we're seeing here, I mean, yeah, he, Incineroar has got those combo extensions, but how do you catch a Shulk Serp again? Yeah, and I was about to say, and expect this Shulk to sit on these platforms just outside a jump range. Yeah, and just and just run away but to do that but you have to get a lead which means you have to fight up with this close with this buster art against a character like Incineroar who's terrifying not ready for the tech but that jump art gonna say it doesn't even matter or er, sky j though still not even getting hit finally the one the speed art gonna lock it down get the coast to coast oh, but, but the revenge all for not he's been in honestly jared's been in kill percent for like 30 percent and it's in there doesn't get too much with the revenge but doesn't need revenge to get a back throw on the ledge. Yeah, no, not at all. And now up to you're well in the up throw kill percent as well at that 124 range. Range looking for the Alolan whip though. It's not gonna even matter because you know of all his kills, that one kills the soonest. It's on a special move for a reason, folks. And the and just the beautiful revenge once again looking for the Alolan whip. Not gonna find it, Jared. Starting to find a juggle, but just coming up short. Uh, yeah. Uh... Just trying to find a way in is so hard on Sky J because he, Incineroar is one of those characters that has insane moves on a character with not great base stats. Like a little slow, but hits real hard. And uh, once you're in the blender, it can be hard to get out. Just gets that forward tilt. Yeah, dude, Cheeto fingers putting him in the blast zone. Not one, but twice. The kill spark lies harder than Shulk cheats because he survived yet another day on speed art, which even makes him lighter. Er, 
and just, I mean, this, and, and he's a fast faller, which means he dies off the side sooner and later off the top, so in that state, so just really beautiful job, up throw, gonna do it here, and Sky J up three stocks to one, he's making this insanely difficult matchup just look easy as possible. So now the game plan is out the window, we've gone into smash art, we, our, our platform strategy has failed us. So he's gonna go out here, and that up special connecting actually saved Sky J. Yeah. Hey, hey, Jared could have kind of weaved around it, waited, let him get past, and then found it. Found the speed, the speed fair. Yeah, he's gonna find the stock, but oh my, oh dear, like, like what do you do? Back here. And that was a late revenge too. He baited it out. You can see that Jared maybe fall out down here, getting the spike to clean that one up convincingly. And you know what's crazy? So Jared's from Oregon, which is one state over, but. Oregon does have a decent amount of regional crossover with Washington, especially the Seattle region. The public transport between those cities is very good for regionals, for majors. You see them come down to Back and Bloods, for example, which is Oregon's premier regional scene. They just put on major upset, in fact, for, for the first time as a major. Um, they come in very often. And you know who lives in Seattle? Who's that? Mystery Soul. <laughs> the second best incineroar in the world. So, even though Mystery Soul play more rivals in the last year or so, still does play some ultimate. He and Jared have played before. I don't know if they play super regularly, but Jared is King has matchup experience against Incineroar, but nobody does it like Sky Kid. Yeah, getting caught up in the, in the combo game early off of these throws. You know, early Incineroar, where people were like, ah, oh, he's a grappler, he's a grappler. This dude can brawl, he can grapple. Pretty much the only thing he can do is zone. And uh, 80% you know to 12 in, here. Incineroar with a projectile? That's terrifying. Don't, don't do that. And I don't want to think about I it. I love that Alolan Whip. The short hop, recognizing, hey, Shulk is slightly tall, which means if I short hop Alolan Whip, it'll cover your jump, but it will also cover you grounded unless you crowd Jared not ready to get down on those knees. And so oh, losing that first stock at a very early, the parry is now coming out into that intentional bonk from Sky Day, right? Just trying to keep the corner situation going. Looks for the F smash. We didn't find it. Allows Jared to reset to neutral and underneath this platform. Schultz can get things started, but it feels like he's just starting to second guess some of these combo extensions because he's just so scared of the revenge. And, and Sky Jay is all the way in his head right now. Giving up the stock there, but has called out so many late, untrue fake combos with that revenge. Absolutely, and just the full hop, just finding the back air, not really having to do anything. You could see it coming from a mile away, but it doesn't the even matter. Combo of the century, what a read from Sky J. I mean, he's been hitting those all set though, and he does it all the time. This man is as big brain as they come. I feel like Sky J just knows where you're gonna be, and so many players like have these habits where they full hop and. Oh my in, throw, in, that's in, gonna in, do it. Yeah, he wasn't quite ready on the DI either, so just. Like that was a 3 0. Oh, was probably looking for up throw there, was I'm, not ready on the can back. I, can I say something controversial? That was that was closer than some of the pool sets these guys <laughs> had yesterday. <laughs> or that was that was that wasn't as close as some of the pool sets these guys had yesterday. That was that was insane. And Jared, like, and you can see Jared, he's rolling that control up slowly, shaking his head. You can see he, he's gonna go back and study that one later mm -hmm. for a long time and i expect hard. the next time they it's play so it to hard. be a lot closer it's so hard against a character against a player like sky J and a character like Incineroar, who it's like yeah Incineroar is terrified he hits reads on you like nobody's business but sky J is also just one of the nicest people